Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. traditional get ready with me video I'm gonna keep this video actually a little bit more short and sweet than my get ready with me's of the past because y'all know I can talk okay we all know this there's this nothing new like y'all been here I've been here we know okay so I wanted to make this uh, video a little bit more short and kind of to the point uh, specifically talking to these clean beauty products that I'm gonna be sharing with you all today in partnership with Sephora I have been been a huge proponent of clean beauty the past couple years I am going to get into all of that today in this video so if you are somebody who has been contemplating you know getting into clean beauty and all that like listen let's have a conversation and let's talk about it so I'm first starting off with the milk makeup hydro grip primer now this primer has won so many awards at this point and this is definitely one of those products that if you are not like into clean beauty you've probably still used this because it just has been raved about so much and i didn't even know that this was actually a clean beauty product when i first started using it i just saw people using it and their makeup looking like so flawless so bomb that i was like oh my gosh i want to try this too but come to find out it's clean and it's actually 94 percent all natural so it has ingredients like niacinamide hyaluronic acid aloe water so those are gonna be those ingredients that really moisturize your skin and as obviously what primer does is create a barrier between your makeup and your skin you want to make sure that the primer that you're using is actually going to not harm your skin right underneath all that makeup and so you not only want your primer to actually make your makeup last you know, make your pores look smaller, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but you also want it to, you know, treat your skin at the same time, you know, like why not? And actually with this product that I didn't know until recently was that, you know, out of just habit, I always just, you know, put my primer on and just go straight into foundation as many of us do. But this primer actually needs to sit on your skin for a minute before you continue on. And this is because the biggest part of this primer was like the grip factor. So it's gonna get like sticky on your skin and really attach itself to whatever foundation uh, that you're using on top of it. So now for our base, I'm using the Sunshine Skin Tint, also from Milk Makeup. I have been like obsessed, okay, with this skin tint all right it's so good y'all i actually posted a reel um using this on instagram a few weeks ago and y'all were like what what is this like amazing skin tint you're using because it just makes your skin look so glowy and beautiful and i'm like listen it's is this product right here okay you need this okay for this spring and summer you need this and i really love like the packaging of this too because it's just super convenient. It's got like a pump on it. Um, it's super unique. This also has SPF 30 in it as well. So if you're someone like me who always forgets to put on sunscreen, then this is gonna like, you know, take care of that too. Oh, and before I forget, I'm wearing the shade Caramel. I also just love how perfect of a color match this is for me. Like. Sometimes, you know how it can be, it can be hard to find the right shade, you know? Um, but this just blends into my skin so perfect. Now, honestly, since today I'm really not doing like a full glam look, I don't even feel like I need like really concealer or anything. Like you could totally just leave it like this, set it a little bit with some powder and keep it moving. You know, that's what I love about this product is that it can do both. It can be your base for your glam look, and then it can also be just a base for literally an everyday, but like look like yourself type of look. So now I'm just gonna set my face with a little bit of powder. Now see, even with the powder being set, this is as if I just had perfect skin without even having to like do some, you know, major contouring or highlighting work, but 
I will be using some bronzer, so, cause I just can't. I can skip <laughs> concealer, but I, I can't skip bronzer because it's spring going into summer and we, we need the bronze, okay? So now that that is all finished, our base is pretty much done. This is definitely a very like everyday look, which I pretty much only do. <laughs> so now I'm actually gonna go in with this eyeshadow palette right here. This is from the Sephora collection. This is their clean, beauty eyeshadow palette so there's not going to be any irritating ingredients or anything like that in these eyeshadows so this is actually the eyeshadow palette in monarch and i'm going to be using this copper color right here on my lids and i'm just doing just one color like i'm not doing a whole like you know extra look here today because this is a very like everyday sort of vibe and yeah so i'm just literally taking it on my finger and i'm gonna put it straight on my lid and pack it on and i really like these eyeshadows because they're super creamy but they set like a powder eyeshadow so you are not gonna really have like the fallout that you usually have with some other powder eyeshadows and the pigment is really nice too so I know sometimes people think like, oh, if you're using clean beauty products, you have to compromise on like, you know, results. So you have to compromise on like the look at the end of it. And that's just like simply not true. Like you can still have like super bomb results with using clean beauty products. And now I'm gonna take this color right here and put it on my eyebrows and kind of like use it as a highlight. And I'm also going to put it on my cheekbones. Now to finish off this look, I'm going to be adding this Tower 28 Lip Jelly. This is in the shade Coconut, and it's a really pretty like mauve pink, which will fit the whole look we're going for today. And these glosses are bomb, okay? They're so creamy, yet not sticky. And they also have like natural fruit oils in it to nourish your lips and also protect them. Oh, and actually before I forget, I gotta put some more of that eyeshadow that we use as a highlight on my nose area. Oops, cause I just can't not <laughs> highlight my nose. <laughs> but that's what I love about creamy eyeshadows, especially too, is that you can use them like really all over your face. And especially with this being a clean eyeshadow palette, you can really put it everywhere and it's not going to irritate you or do anything crazy. Because sometimes like people will use like other products that aren't for your eyes on their eyes. And while it may give a certain look or an effect, it's not made for your eyes. So sometimes ingredients in those products will irritate you in ways that like you can avoid. But when you go and choose clean beauty products, you can usually use them in multiple ways without any sort of negative impact. Can y'all believe we really didn't use concealer either? Like this is kind of like crazy. <laughs> and especially because like, I feel like out of habit, you just always like do the same steps. Like even though maybe you don't need all the steps, like maybe you don't need foundation maybe you just need a little bit of concealer and a little bit of bronzer and you're good or maybe you can use a more mattified like foundation and skip powder just to, so that you can still have like that skin look vibe um or even like the hydro grip primer you can wear the hydro grip primer by itself to give your skin some moisture and also just like an extra like glassy like dewy look and this is our final look y'all like who would have known that this was like a whole clean beauty look? This is what I'm talking about, like finding products that make you feel your best. The lightweightness of my face right now, I don't even feel like I have makeup on. That's like my biggest pet peeve is when I'm wearing makeup and I can feel the makeup on my skin. So I hope you all enjoyed this little quick and sweet get ready with me using these products from Sephora. This look literally took me like 20 minutes, not even. That was probably 20 minutes filming. So on a regular day, if I was just doing this in the morning, like max 10 minutes max to get such a beautiful glowy look with minimal products okay and products that are like great for your skin that aren't going to do anything harmful to you like listen sign me up so definitely check out the clean beauty 
product selection at Sephora. You can tell if a product is clean at Sephora by looking for their Clean Beauty Green Seal, okay? So every single product that fits into that Clean Beauty category, whether it's hair care, skin care, makeup, all that stuff, is going to have that green Clean Beauty Seal on it. And if you wanna get like a real breakdown of what clean even means at Sephora, I'll put down below exactly what clean beauty means so you know exactly what qualifies in that category. So now I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do something. It's like sunny outside. It's about 1 p.m. in the afternoon on a Saturday. Like I'm ready to go. I need to, I need to get Mark and Sarai and we need to go do something because I just feel like I can go live life now and I'm feeling good. This makeup look really like pepped up my mood. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely check back soon for more. You already know I'm always putting y'all on the best beauty products out there, the ones that I just adore and am obsessed with. Check out Sephora.com or go to your local Sephora to find more clean beauty products. All right, y'all, until next time, I will chat with you later. Bye.